The PC business has definitely hit a rough patch. Demand is way down. 2022 has also basically been a bad year for chip companies. That is especially true of the companies that sell the most powerful chips. PC sales are the weakest that they have been in a few years now. And that has Wall Street analysts pretty unhappy. The pandemic fueled a boom in laptop sales to enable people to work from home. But, now, we are in the post-pandemic hangover. So what does this mean for PC companies? What does it mean for big tech companies? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. These are tough times in the PC patch. Q3 shipments basically fell off a cliff at minus 15% year over year. New PC market information was recently reported by market research firm International Data Corporation, also known as IDC, in a published report. Total PC shipments for Q3 was 74.3 million units. That is 87.3 million units less than Q3 of 2021. And as we all know, inflation continues to rage in most of the world. Central banks are aggressively raising interest rates. Layoffs are sweeping the United States. So, consumers are pulling back on spending, especially discretionary spending. Demand for Chromebooks has plummeted and basically sapped any momentum the PC market had. The big players like Lenovo, HP, and Dell all saw double-digit decreases in Q3 shipments. Apple was the only bright spot with a 40% year-over-year increase from Q3 of last year. But that may have been a one-time event due to Apple trying to make up for pent-up shipments. COVID-19 lockdown orders in China temporarily shut down from contract manufacturing factories there. The PC market is in retreat and the average selling prices for PCs have fallen over the last two quarters after reaching a historic high at $910 in this year's Q1, said IDC. The personal computing market saw shipments continue to cool in the third quarter, the IDC report continued. Demand waned and supply chain issues persisted, the IDC report also added. Industry-wide, PC shipments were down 15% in Q3 versus a year earlier. Believe it or not, that is still well above pre-pandemic levels. Global shipments totaled 74.3 million in the quarter, according to the report. That is down from 87.3 million during the same period last year, the report continued. HP experienced a 28% decline in PC shipments. Dell PC shipments were down 21%. And Lenovo down 16%. Chipmaker AMD tipped off this news last week. So, it was not a complete surprise. AMD slashed its sales forecast last week. Not surprisingly, they blamed the usual suspects. Unexpected decline in the PC demand. Supply chain issues. And, our old favorite, the macroeconomic environment. Consumer economic concerns were also woven into the list of excuses. Discretionary spending is weakening as economic conditions deteriorate. To some extent, demand may be awaiting powerful new chips. In the gaming segment, consumers are waiting for the new AMD Ryzen 7000. And the new Radeon graphics cards. Wall Street analysts will be sensitized to signs of weakness in PC shipments. Microsoft and Intel have their Q3 earnings calls set for later in October. Microsoft on October 25th and Intel on October 27th. Based on what AMD has already said, Wall Street is not happy. AMD reported Q3 revenue of $5.6 billion. Wall Street analysts were expecting $6.7 billion. AMD blamed, well, you know who. AMD client PC business saw a whopping 53% fall in revenue from Q2 of 2022. Intel and Nvidia were basically singing from the same song sheet in their last couple of earnings calls. Although weakness in the PC patch hurts, it is not really as bad as it seems to be. Remember, all of this is in comparison to a work-from-home-fueled sales boom. The gaming business remains an area of strength, up about 15% from last year. AMD and Nvidia are also living through the cryptocurrency mining hangover. Time was when crypto miners basically bought up every GPU they could get their hands on. Global sales of 71.3 million PC shipments isn't far below the pre-pandemic level of 74.3 million, according to the IDC report. 
AMD fourth quarter results will include shipments of the Ryzen 7000 CPU. Will that be enough to give AMD a boost? Not unless the global economy starts to recover. The big chip makers, AMD, Intel and Nvidia, are hoping that happens. 2022 has been painful for semiconductor chip companies. AMD. Nvidia. These are the three main players high-end semiconductor chip market. Their valuations are a recession in themselves. AMD has a market capitalization of $94.4 billion. That is down $83 billion from the end of 2021. That is a fall of 59.4% during this period. NVIDIA was once in the top 10 most valuable companies in the world. NVIDIA market capitalization has plummeted by $431 billion. Intel has seen its market value melt from over $206 billion in January to $105 billion. That is a drop of almost half of the value of Intel shares. Micron technology market capitalization sank $44 billion since the start of the year. Qualcomm, for its part, has a market capitalization of $135.8 billion. And that is down more than $66 billion, or 33%, since the start of the year. The PC market weakened significantly in the quarter, said AMD Chair and CEO Dr. Lisa Su. Our product portfolio remains very strong, Su continued. But macroeconomic conditions drove lower than expected PC demand, Su noted. And a significant inventory correction across the PC supply chain, Su added. Semiconductor manufacturers are impacted in much the same way as the rest of the technology sector. Fears of recession are gripping consumers and businesses. So everyone is cutting back on spending. All of this comes as the United States teeters on the brink of recession. Inflation is raging. And the Federal Reserve is aggressively raising interest rates. The purpose of the aggressive interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve is to quell inflation. And, as you know, the chip companies are not the only ones reeling from the current macroeconomic environment. Google and Meta platforms reported decidedly disappointing Q2 earnings. Meta has posted shrinking revenue for two quarters and maybe a third quarter as well. Meta has begun quietly pushing out a significant number of employees. Layoffs at big tech companies are big news because the biggest tech companies went on a veritable hiring spree throughout the pandemic. Shares in Meta platforms are down by over 50% so far this year. And the market capitalization of Meta has fallen by over $685 billion since its all-time peak in September 2021. The market capitalization of Google is down 27% over the past 12 months. Snap has publicly announced layoffs of 20% of its employees. Google, Meta, and Snap are probably the most notable of the companies reducing headcount. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.